Hi, welcome to A Watchman's Journal. I'm Diana Larkin. I am so pleased to be bringing Patty Tykro back again for another interview. Welcome, Patty, to the channel. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. It's wonderful to be here once again. And I'm it excited is. to share what God has placed on my heart. He so longs for his children to know and understand how much he loves us, how much he wants to be involved in our life, and how much he wants to give us peace mm -hmm. and not to fear, no matter if we know what's happening or not. He wants us to place our trust in him. Wow. I think we could end the program. That was... <laughs> That was amazing and wonderful. And everybody take that in. That is uh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. That, and this, that's, go okay. ahead, finish. <laughs> oh, no, that that's basically what he's saying in a nutshell. But he'll it expand is. on it when I share. Yes, and we need to hear the expansion. I was oh, yes, we do. <laughs> I really don't want to stop now. We no, just no, keep no. going here. We, yes, and, we are. <laughs> and most of you know, Patty is my assistant as well and my dear friend. And I'm um, honored to call her that. And it's been, she's been wonderful. I can bounce things off of her when I hit a snag or something I'm not sure of. And um, she's a steady anchor that helps me keep focused and directed in the right direction. So, all right. The and name. Feel, oh, oh, yeah. Go, oh, go I ahead. forgot to announce the name of, <laughs> of our episode. I don't even know episode. what what yeah, is it? It's a year like no other. Oh, good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, because I think that really encapsulates things. I do. I, yes. I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. But I will turn it over to you and let you start sharing uh, what you picked out for us to hear today. Prophetic words from your journal. Amen. Well, actually, I'm going to start with last year. And mm -hmm. I'm going to start out with Thanksgiving because... I'm going to start out with Thanksgiving and then I'm going to go into Christmas because God has something very specific he wants to share with us. And so let me read um, on, on November 20th. Um, it says this Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving, invite me into your family gatherings, especially if you have family members that like to start arguments. For I want to show you that not only do I want to use you as my army of light to push back darkness in your culture, but personally in your everyday lives as well with your friends and family. So declare and decree that no evil can enter your house, that it is not allowed. Declare that your home is a demon free zone. Then invite my presence and my ministering angels to come and bring peace, harmony, and joy. And also come to me and ask me to reveal certain things about your family that you can do to bless them. And remember, you are representing me. Uh, and so put on love, for I desire to use you to touch people that are hurting and that need to know and feel my love. So dedicate this Thanksgiving to me and ask me to be your strength and be slow to speak, slow to become angry, but quick to listen from James 1.19. And in Romans 12.18, it says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And then Hebrews 12.14 says, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And then on the day of Thanksgiving, the Lord has another word that he says, and it says, today. Now that you're done making preparations for this day, Thanksgiving, do the most important thing. Give this day to me so that I can move in your gatherings, so that I can turn hearts from stone to flesh. So that instead of anger in people's hearts, I will soften them and bring joy and laughter in your homes. I want to show you what my plans are, for I have heard your prayers. And this day will find many answers to your prayers. You have prayed for relationships. And I say, the more you show my love to those around you today, 
the more it will be received and reciprocated as well. For my love never fails, and you shall be eyewitnesses to that today. For as you invite me into your Thanksgiving gatherings this day, behold, my presence will fill your homes and miracles will abound. First Peter 4, 8, and above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sin. And so because God had shared that with me, I felt so strongly that I needed to get on X and ask for testimonies. And I did. I printed them all out. And I started out and I said, "Thanks, testimony time. And I said, what a an amazing Thanksgiving I had. There was no darkness whatsoever in my family gathering. Mm -hmm. And um, there was nothing negative said that was hurt, <laughs> that was said and no hurt feelings were anywhere. And that has been an issue before. And so, um, and then there was an accident. My grandson threw a ball into um, uh, a, our, um a flower arrangement and it was dried flowers and it went everywhere. But you know what? God gave me grace and I mm -hmm. didn't even care. I just cleaned it up and put it away. And he said he was sorry. And I, that's okay. You know, no big deal. And so that's how the Lord just moved in my personal Thanksgiving. I mean, it was amazing. I prayed everything God said to, and, and God just really came through. Wow. So then I wanted to hear what other people said. And um, one person in our group said, I also had my kids this year, so I wasn't lonely, praise God. And then um, someone else said, same here, nothing but love and laughter. Well, a lot of eating too, <laughs> she said, but praise God for his presence and answered prayers. And then um, someone else said, praise the Lord, that's awesome. This is, this is hilarious. I had four families cancel on us the last minute but my husband and I felt a relief <laughs> that they weren't coming we had a peaceful and nice day <laughs> so her peaceful Thanksgiving came true <laughs> you know whatever works Lord I whatever know. works I know it was so funny and then this one this is this is this is a miracle this one said my daughters have been at each other's throats for a while at our dinner they sat together and talked as if nothing had happened. It was truly a miracle that I had prayed for. Wow. Look what God did. Wow. God offered, I'm going to be here with you at, at Thanksgiving. And he was. I'm not done. There's more. Wow. And then this other person said, I'm going to say almost ditto to your testimony. There was a touchy situation where racism tried to raise an ugly head, but everything turned out to be friendly and positive. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? It is. Truly. And then there's one overwhelmed me. This one said, I got to spend Thanksgiving with my brother for the first time in 29 years. Oh my goodness. He is the only family from childhood that I have contact with and he is not saved yet but I am standing on God's word that he will be part of the billion soul harvest that's coming. Wow. And um, another person said, let's see if I can. Another person said, so, so true, Patty, love waves of Holy spirit conversations, good and no strife at all amongst any of us, even today. And then she talked about watching a movie that was so good about called breakthrough Another one said, same here, no arguing or strife. My son even commented it was the best Thanksgiving they ever had. Whoa, Patty. Wow. I know. I know. So G God wanted to make sure that I put this out there because he is saying, I want to be involved in your personal life. It's not just mm -hmm. praying about the government or your church or the seven mountains. I want to be involved with you. His word says that he came to give us life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So we can pray against the enemy and say, this is a demon free zone in my home. So if someone is carrying demons, guess what? They can't function. No, that's right. So 
you have a home full of peace because God's presence is there and he's going to answer you. And he wants reconciliation in our relationships. Yes. That was so miraculous. So that miraculous. Was. Patty, there is such a lesson here for us about yes. surrendering yes. to God's yes. ways and not yes. our ways. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he wants to surprise us. He wants to astound us. He wants to do all these wonderful things, you know, in our relationships because he knows our pain. He knows our hurt mm -hmm. when there's mm -hmm. when there's pain between, you know, differences of opinion or whatever. He knows that and he longs for peace and he knows our hearts. And I just yeah. thought he kind of gave an invitation. And for those of us who accepted it, wow, it was mm -hmm. just amazing. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Awesome. So we have more. Yeah. Now it's going to be, it's going to be, we're going to talk about Christmas and what, how God got involved in that too. And Diana, you're a part of this. I'm sure you read what I shared, but anyway, so this is on December 22nd and this is called place of decisions. It says for I, the Lord am here seeing everything the deep state is planning against America. But I have called my watchman, Diana, to sound the alarm and tell you how to pray against what is happening under the sea. Do not forget to pray and decree against their evil schemes, for it is imperative that you do so. For they want to disrupt your celebrations and time together with family and friends, and they want to destroy your fun and bring chaos instead. And I also call upon you this day to come against the spirit of chaos. Declare that this spirit cannot be utilized to carry out its mission of death and destruction. Instead, declare that the spirit of chaos is completely defeated by the blood, by my blood, and by the authority that I, Jesus, have given you. For the battle of America is heating up. Battle for America is heating up. But I have given you everything you need to defeat oh. this foe. And when you pray and declare, my hosts of heaven armies are released and wreak havoc against the demon forces. For my angel army wait upon you to send them on their missions. So be on guard, even when you're celebrating this Christmas, for the clash between good and evil is in full force. Yeah. So keep your sword at the ready and be aware of your surroundings and let Holy Spirit guide you through this maze of the place of decisions. Mm -hmm. And then I have a verse, Joel 3, 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Yeah. And so, um, okay, so I want to talk about, I thought I had another one. Maybe I don't. I guess I don't. Okay, so um, I don't know if you noticed, Diana, but um, on his glory, Pastor Dave and Julie Green were talking the week after Christmas, actually the week after New Year's, and she was talking about the same thing, about oh. how the enemy wanted to do something around Christmas. Yes. Did you hear that? I don't remember if I heard that or not, but I was, as you're reading this, I'm thinking there were many voices saying the enemy has yes. plans to disrupt yes. this holiday. Well, Pastor Dave, because he knows about military operations, military intel that we don't know. Right. He said there were two things that could have happened. Wow. One, um, they thwarted. The second one was... He said he had no idea how it got thwarted, hmm. but it did. Wow. And it's and the look on his face, like it's a good thing it was because it would have caused a lot of damage. Wow. So God is listening to our prayers. Yes. And God is protecting us. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? That is wonderful. And this this makes real sense in why. He has been um, 
just saying that the darkness, they don't know what's going on. They don't know why yes. their plans aren't working. Yes. So this makes yes. perfect sense. Yes, it does. And I am even more, because there's proof that God heard our prayers, I'm even more motivated to be engaged yes. in, in the struggle and mm -hmm. knowing that God not only hears our prayers, but our prayers and his prayers send the angels yes. and to disarm all the powers of the enemy. That's right. And it's it's so it's so rewarding to be on God's side and to be on the winning side, right? <laughs> yes. He wins. <laughs> Amen. He does. I know. So the next um, word I want to read is the last day of 2023. And um, he's so good and kind to share with us. He knows. He knows our struggles. He knows how hard life has been. Yeah. And um, I love that he comes. It's almost like it comes to our level. And he he says, "I know. I know your feelings. I know your pain. I know your hurt." And then he says, "But well done. Well done." So that's the name of this. It's called Well Done. This, this is the last day of your year, 2023. It was a difficult year, but I say you grew so much through it. For your reliance on me has strengthened you so much. And your faith in me has more than doubled. For I taught you much these past few years. For you, my army have light, have learned the art of warfare against your enemy, the devil. You have learned about the authority that my son gave you, and you are now using it. And you have also learned about the benefits of declaring and decreeing and using my word against the enemy as well. For now, when you hear of another plan coming against you, you don't receive it, but instead you nullify it in, in my son's name. For you are learning to be victorious, for I have shared with you through my prophets that you have a mandate to rule and reign on this earth, and I am preparing you to do so. For I tell you that I am proud of the way that you have handled adversity, for you have chosen to fight and to use the armor according to my word. And I say to you, well done. Isn't that just, it's like oh. he's putting his arms around us and yeah. just giving us a big hug. Mm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yes. Wow. So then um, I share this verse in Matthew, Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Now I put this note on the bottom here and it makes so much sense. According to the scripture, God does not save us from the storm, but enables us to go through the storm. And from the foundation that was laid, our obedience to his teachings, we are saved for he is our refuge and our strength. Wow, that's good, Patty, really good. He has taught us so well. Oh, yeah. And we are growing by leaps and bounds. We are learning to partner with him. Yeah. And just, and, you know, again, Proverbs 3, 5, excuse me. Yeah. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 about trust in the Lord with all your heart mm -hmm. and do not rely on your own insight. That yeah. is so big right now. It is. Because we have to walk by faith and not by sight. We mm -hmm. can't. We can't listen to the mainstream media or what other people are saying. We just need to have ears to hear what he has to say. 
Yeah. And not be concerned about other things. For the enemy so wants us to be distracted and so wants us full of fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we stay focused on him, it's where we need to stay. It's where we need mm -hmm. to be. And that's where we find our rest and our peace. Yes. So true. Um, I did want to say something, you know, about that word chaos. Mm -hmm. So I just was listening to Jane Heyman. She was just actually speaking on Elijah list today. Oh, nice. Yeah. I and love she brought, her. I do too. And she brought up that word chaos. Ah. And she said, do you know what the name or the word shalom means in Hebrew? Um, because um, in Hebrew, they don't just look at the name. They also look at the letters and mm -hmm. what the letters mean. And it says, peace comes when you destroy the authority of chaos. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's so a good that's word. Reason. Wow. Yeah. So I think I have a feeling that we're going to be coming against that spirit a lot this year. Okay. All right. We better get in practice then. <laughs> yeah. But we knew, again, we know who wins, right? Yes, we do. We do. I have no doubt of that. Amen. So true. So now I'm going to be going on into this year, 2024. And this was just a few days ago on January 15th. And um, this refers to when Amanda Grace spoke um, and had that prayer gathering on behalf of President Trump. And this was on January 15th, and it's called My Anointing. For yesterday, when my ecclesia gathered together and prayed with Amanda Grace and all those that she brought together, behold, a major transformation took place in the heavenlies that will soon be evident in the natural realm as well. For my Robin, my prophet, poured the oil as a sign of my anointing over my David. And I put boom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like, it's like, it's like it hit hell that way. It was like a major bomb went off in hell okay. because this anointing is huge. So my supernatural plans and purposes have now been released for this anointing is mighty in power and nothing will thwart my plans and nothing will harm Donald J. Trump either. For now, every evil plan the enemy uses against him will now be used against the sender, <laughs> much like what happened to Haman. And people will start understanding what this anointing entails, hmm. that no weapon used against him will prosper. And now I have placed a shield round about him. No lie, deception, or weapon will succeed against him, but all will go back to the sender like a boomerang. For I will show myself strong in defending my David, and my plans will be fulfilled. Yes. For this year is the year of the open door, and this door is being used for my kingdom purposes. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but this that fresh anointing was January 14th. Yes. And President Trump's birthday is June 14th. So that's exactly six months. That's true. That, yeah, that he was uh, reanointed six months before his birthday. So interesting. I don't know if that means yeah. anything or not, but I don't know either. I know that um, when they were talking about the anointing, they said he was anointed for two years and that he needed to be anointed again. And I don't know. I I don't know where that first two years came from I don't I have no clue but um I was so impressed how God shared with Robin Bullock that that needed to happen well it it makes sense if we're going into a new era that a new yes. anointing is required yes, yes. Uh, and of course a prophet would would have that mindset yes. you know that that's that needs to happen so and I love that he took that mantle of being a prophet seriously mm -hmm. i love that that's so important it is 
Okay, so now we're going to talk about a year like no other, which is right. the theme for, <laughs> for today. So um, this really should give us all faith and courage and and knowing that that we're on the right side and that mm -hmm. um, that God's got this and I'm actually I'm in a place of awe and wonder. And I know you even have talked about that, Diana, that yeah. I, I just believe that we're going to see the power of God yes. this year like we've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And I am, I'm rather excited. Yes. I'm I very too. excited about it, actually. I am too. Yeah. Okay. So a year like no other. Did you see what I did yesterday? He said, <laughs> I caused President Trump to win in a powerful way in <laughs> Iowa. For I roared last night, <laughs> announcing who will win. You know, I just sense God is just bragging. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love I it. For the deep state has no chance at all. And they are so afraid right now. For even with only 3% of the vote in, the media had to say that Trump won. It was that decisive. For this anointing that was given to Trump on Sunday night was incredibly powerful. Wow. For last night, he put hell. Hell was put on notice. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. Who mm -hmm. my chosen is and the gates of hell will try, but mm -hmm. not prevail against Donald Trump. For even though Barry Winch said that the election would hang in the balance, that just means that there will be turmoil. But with their prayers and decrees made by my army of light, the deep state doesn't stand a chance. It doesn't mean they won't try to put up a good fight, but on whose shoulders is the government on, according to my word? Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. For this very scripture is what you will be decreeing this year, and you will see strongholds fall and you will see my kingdom prevail. For this will be a year like no other ever. I know. And then, of course, I had to put down the scripture. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, so incredible are his words. And mm -hmm. they give us reason to celebrate. They sure do. Give us so much hope and faith that that everything is lining up according to his plans. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with what the enemy is planning. It has all to do with what he's planning. Canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Disarm. And the, the verse that follows the one that you read in Isaiah, paraphrasing, um, and of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. That's right. That's right. That's a happy ending, folks. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, it's wonderful. All right. So the day after that, January 17th, he goes on. And um, this is pretty exciting too. And I just, it seems like lately, so many prophetic words are coming out that God is going to um, have judgment on his enemies. It's, it's, it's almost like a done deal. And even though it hasn't happened yet. I it think feels done to me. Do you know what yes. I mean by that? It's like, yes. I've already seen it in the future. It's done. Yes. Not that we don't keep fighting and pushing yes. for it, but yes. I have great confidence that it's right. already done. Right. And it seems like he's saying it more often. And, 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 and I feel like that gives me reason to believe it's coming soon. It's coming sooner than maybe, you know, they might think, but it's like, it's really on his mind. You know, he's, he's, he's tired of, of all the evil. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. So on the 17th, he said, I will make myself known. Wow. For you have heard my words from many of my prophets of what I will be doing this year of 2024. For this year will be unlike any other. For I'm going to con come down hard on my enemies in all the seven mountains. It just won't be the government and the church. Mm -hmm. No. For I'm going to deal with Hollywood, the mm -hmm. music industry, financial institutions, mainstream media, and the family. For the longings of your heart will be realized. For I am not just a God who sits on the pages of the Bible. <laughs> no. For many know firsthand who the devil is in the seven mountains. For many serve him. But soon the day is coming when they will meet me. For just as my servant Andrew Whalen said yesterday, the fear of the Lord is uh -huh. coming back. Mm -hmm. Yes, to the church, but also in other spheres as well. For I will not be mocked any longer, and I will make myself known personally to my enemies, for they will see who they're fighting against before they fall to the ground. <laughs> for my enemies will realize who I am when all is said and done. And then the scripture in Second Peter 2, 9 and 10, if this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. This is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desire of the flesh and despise authority. Wow. Yikes. Yes, he means business and he's yes, he does. kind of warning Mm -hmm. those who are still in that place of not listening i think he's kind of giving giving them a chance to mm -hmm. maybe turn things around yeah i i don't know if it, very many will or not yeah i don't know either yeah so this last one um is from last year and this was from january 17th of 2023 and this has to do with the wef <clears throat> and it's amazing how um other people have been um barry wench has talked about this the wf and even amy in our group has mentioned this mm -hmm. and now of course um i am um from last year and this is on his heart he is done he's done so this is called, I have heard for I, the Lord, am going to come. I, the Lord, am coming to wipe out my enemies and to set you free for even now, certain people, high up people that are very powerful in this plan for a new world order have been ambushed and have a choice to make either reveal information and live or lose their life. It's that wow. simple. For the military has been very diligent in following their orders to capture these evil people. Wow. And I say I am putting an end to the WEF, which is the World Economic Forum. No more, no more will I allow for this forum to continue to meet and follow through on its dark agenda for this world. For I am dealing with the darkness and striking down their evil plans. For I have heard the many prayers of the saints crying out for justice and freedom. For just as I heard my people cry out to me, being enslaved by the Egyptians, and many times thereafter and saved them, so will I do it again. But on a much more grander scale, as this will imp impact the world, soon, my dear ones, soon for things are all lining up. So raise a hallelujah for the salvation of the Lord is at hand. And I love this verse that I found in Judges. Judges 10, 16, and he could bear Israel's misery no longer. Amen. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. And I think it is. And I think that's how God is feeling that it hurts him because we're so hurt. Mm -hmm. that are so many of our freedoms have been taken away and he sees that the deep state and 
other people mm -hmm. are have worse plans for us mm -hmm. and um yeah. god is just like it's not going to happen <laughs> i'm going to save my mm -hmm. own yay i know so it's it's pretty pretty exciting to be part of his plans and to partner with him mm -hmm. and when he gives us assignments to do and to partner with him and send angels to go mm -hmm. and disarm powers and principalities or whatever and to see it actually happen it's so rewarding yes. um what a what a wonderful time to be alive it's not yes it's, it's not necessarily easy but it's challenging and I know that God will give me the strength I need. And it's it, it's okay. It's okay to be here. It's okay mm -hmm. to be in a difficult place. Mm -hmm. Because he's here with me, right? He's here with all of us. He is. And I don't know who says this, Bobby Connor or someone wise, um, that small, small battles will give you small victories. Huge battles will give you huge victories. Amen. So our victory and vindication are going to be so sweet that we can yes. taste it. Yes. Yes. I agree. So hang I, in there, army of yes. light. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. We all need to hang in there. Yes. The best is yet do. to come. Mm -hmm. It Absolutely. certainly is. Anything Absolutely. else you wanted to add? This has been rich and full. His words are so weighty and of such value yes um don't forget the lord loves you that's the biggest thing amen yeah. you know i mean you know the word <laughs> talks about um knowing how wide and deep and his love is i mean yeah. if we know he loves us mm -hmm. we won't doubt that he's going to answer us we won't doubt that he'll never leave us or forsake us. We know that his word yeah. is true. Yeah. Um, and he gives us so much courage yes. through his love that he has for us. So if we know he loves us, I think we can go through so much. Yeah. So I think that's huge. Just I knowing he loves is. us and learn to spend yes. time with him, learn to be in the word. Um, so important. It is so important. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've heard it said, and I'm sure many people know that if you um, like if you work in a bank and if you study a dollar bill or a $20 bill, the, the real one, you'll know right away what's false when counterfeit money comes your way. Mm -hmm. So if you read the word of God and that's full of truth and a lie comes along, you'll know and decipher it right away. That's really important to know. Yes, yes. So you may not think again. something is happening when you're reading the word, but then a situation will arise and you'll think, I didn't used to think this way. Mm. This is something has changed in my thinking. And it's yes, the word of God really does change our perspective yeah. and how we see things. Amen. Oh, it absolutely does. Yes. The truth will set us free, right? Yes, it will. Yes, it yes. will. Yes. Yes. Oh. I All love right. that he I yes. love that he Keep provides going. us a right? <laughs> yes. Finish that thought, what whatever you were gonna well, say. I was just there. gonna say I love that he find he he leads us through the hard times and he's showing us the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I mean that's right. He 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 is so kind. And I think part of me thinks he's not telling us everything because I think it would scare us. Mm -hmm. But he's giving us enough to know what to do. Yeah. He knows what we can handle. Yeah. And he, his mercies are new every morning. So they we're are. Good. They yes. are. And especially if you visit him every morning, let him yes. come and touch yes. your life and yes. renew your strength and yes. your joy and yes. just feel that love that he has for you. Yes. It, it strengthens you for another day. So absolutely. Every day. I couldn't go a day without him. No. Oh, <laughs> no. no. I, I, I can't either. So, mm -mm. and I'm, I'm excited to see, I don't get to interact very much anymore on any of the social medias just because I don't have enough hours in the day, but um, I, I just happened to peek at uh, X today and saw that B 
has been um, putting out some little quick videos that make you smile and encourage your heart. And I am so blessed at that group, how they have grown and matured and they're just stepping out in faith, doing things they have done, but never done before. Amy Vega is off and running on her own channel now. And I know uh, it. both you yeah. and she have active blogs now, um, which I got to remember to put your blog in the description box. I'm, I don't okay. remember if it's there or not. I'll check and see. Okay. So okay. That sure. way you can see the written uh, form of all these words. You can print them off. You can yep. put them on your fridge or wherever you need to remind yourself how right. good our God is. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah. Would you mind closing us in prayer for today? I would love to. Love to. Thank you, Lord, so much for this opportunity to share what you have shared with me. And Lord, I pray for every listener, Lord, that your hand would be upon them. Lord, that they would know how much you want to be a part of their life. Mm-hmm. And Lord, you're interested in every little part of their life, Lord. And Lord, you came to bring us life and and you gave us to bring it life and more abundantly. So Lord, I pray that they would understand and know you. Mm -hmm. And I pray most of all, Lord, that they would understand how much you love them. Yes. And Lord, if there is sin in their life, Lord, you say in your word that if we confess our sin, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse Mm -hmm. us from our own righteousness. Lord, you are so worthy. You are so worthy of our love and our praise. And Lord, I pray that um, you would lead and guide each and every listener into what Mm -hmm. you have planned for them. And may they hear you and know you too. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, thank you so much, my friend, for bringing us such treasure. You're welcome. And we will be seeing you again. And... Coming up in February, I will be interviewing Patty uh, for his glory on a window into the supernatural. So (laughs) you'll get to see her there. (laughs) Yeah, you will. Looking forward to that. And I'm going to be interviewing Amy Vega as well for a window into the supernatural. So we get to see our own tribe. (laughs) Yes, we do. (laughs) God's just elevating and lifting us up and for his glory. So thank you for joining us today, everyone. We love you. And until we meet again, may you be blessed with his peace, his grace, and his glory.